21 years after the murder of Adelaide school teacher Anthea Bradshaw Hall, her husband has been named as a suspect. Jeff Hall was living with the 26-year-old in Brunei when she was stabbed and strangled to death in 1994. It's been 21 years since Anthea Bradshaw Hall was murdered in the apartment she shared with her husband in Brunei. And now, for the first time, Jeff Hall has been named as a suspect in the killing of his 26-year-old wife. Mr Hall is now working in Japan as an executive. I'm going to be talking about our new Pure Vision detector. But he has a legal team working for him in Adelaide. And it was Mr Hall's own lawyer who made the revelation in the Adelaide District Court this morning as he fights for access to police documents relating to the case against his client, which he claims is weak and based on little evidence. The application coming weeks after Australian police were given power to prosecute the overseas crime with the passing of a bill which the Attorney General said will forever after be known as the Bradshaw Bill. Mr Hall's lawyer has asked what makes the Federal Parliament so sure of Mr Hall's guilt that it passed legislation and dub it the Bradshaw Bill. Seven witnesses place my client at work at the time of the murder there was a stranger hanging around the apartment. No trace of Mr Hall's DNA was found at the scene. All of this heard by the victim's brothers who were sitting inside the courtroom. We're very happy with um, the continued progression in regards to um, justice for Anthea. We just let the courts take their process, let the police do their job and um, we'll just be waiting. And Ben Avery joins me now live in the studio. Ben, what was the outcome of today's court hearing? Well, Kate, the judge adjourned proceedings to consider whether Jeff Hall should be given full access to the police documents that he's requested. He'll be weighing up claims from Mr Hall's lawyers that a prosecution is likely and that their client needs the documents to prepare a strong defence against any moves to extradite him from Japan to face trial here in South Australia, Kate.